Oh hey, didn't see you there. I was just about to discuss some of my favorite Ecuadorian films. My first film I watched was called In the Name of the Girl, or En el Nombre de la Hija. This film takes place in the summer of 1976 in the valley of the Ecuadorian Andes. This film is a religious and social criticism of Ecuadorian Christianity and capitalism from the point of view of Manuela, a nine-year-old girl who was raised with the revolutionary ideas, religious ties, and a deep sense of social equality. The movie surrounds a dispute over her name. Manuela is originally named after her father, who is seen as more of a socialist and atheist. The grandmother, who is conservative Catholic, that believes she should be named Dolores, which is a, a traditional Ecuadorian name passed down through her generations. The camera follows Manuela through her life, showing the interpretations of different political views and cultural norms within her traditional Ecuadorian family. Taina Hermida is a filmmaker who was born in Cuenca, Ecuador in 1968. Cuenca is the capital of the Azuri province of Ecuador, located more inland towards the highlands. She has both written and directed internationally recognized films, including En el Nombre de la Hija and Que Tan Lejos. Growing up, her father was a historian with great interest in Cuban revolution, thus instilling her love for Cuba within Tanya. Tanya moved on to study Cuban culture and has a profound interest in how people of Cuba have a dissatisfaction toward the communist government. She later went on to promote the interest in history within Latin American countries and created films expressing her thoughts and her love for her home country of Ecuador. Tanya is incredibly respected within the Latino film industry and very knowledgeable with Ecuadorian social and political issues becoming incorporated within her movies. My next film was Such a Life in the Tropics, or Sin Muertos No Hay Carnaval, directed by Sebastian Cordero. This movie, much like the last one, focuses on the separation of so social class within the city of Guayaquil. Uh, the main character, Emilio Paparizo, is a wealthy young man who tries to get rid of 250 squatting people on his land that belong to his late father. The group of squatters has a leader that tried to strike a deal with Emilio, living on the land, but knows the dispute won't end without bloodshed. This film portrays all the issues of social rank within the city of Guayaquil and highlighting the tensions that leads to violence within the people of the city. This film is shot entirely in Guayaquil, Ecuador as well. The director, Sebastian Cordero, was born in Quito, Ecuador on May 23, 1972. He began his love for film at the University of Southern California at the age of 19. Sebastian then moved back to his hometown of Ecuador with the passion to make a film within his own country. a place. Where, where, they, where there was virtually no film industry to begin with, so he had all his interest to be making films there about his country. His first uh, directed film was in 1999 called Rates Ratones Rateros, which showed the effect of poverty within Ecuadorian society. Sebastian has been recognized for his work in the Sundance Film Festival, LA Film Festival, and the Keynes Film Festival. Fun fact about Sebastian is that he has collaborated on projects with other Ecuadorian directors like Tanya Hermada, who I mentioned in the last section. In the past, they both shared a similar passion for Ecuadorian film.